I have heritage both in Zimbabwe and Jamaica. My mum's from St Lucia, my dad's from Congo. My family and ancestors are from Jamaica. My mum's French and my dad's Jamaican. My family originate from Angola. Both of my parents are from Jamaica. My family are from Ivory Coast. Jamaica. From Congo. West Africa, Nigeria. Ghana. South Africa or Antigua. I am Santi Elefanti in Ghana. My family are from Grenada and Jamaica. Jamaica and Guyana. The Caribbean and India. A mix of British and Jamaican. But I live in Croydon. 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 I live in Croydon. I live around two in Brixton. Brixton. Oxbridge. Biggin Hill. Mitcham. Mitcham. West Croydon, London. I am from London. I do take a lot of pride in where I'm from. I think it really does kind of sculpt you as a person. I feel like your heritage is something that you should carry along with you. Because in a way, it kind of does define you. Uh, not you as a person, but I think it defines your roots. It defines where you come from. My heritage is a sense of community and being together. Growing up, I used to go to a lot of family barbecues, so everyone would be all dressed up in all these different colourful clothing singing, all the children would play together, it's amazing. My favourite uh, thing about my heritage is definitely food. I love African food, especially um, jollof rice. It's like a chicken with spicy rice. Uh, my food part of my heritage is the uh, dancing culture, the adua and the kite. One thing I like about my heritage is most likely the diversity and just the, the list of history that my family has in it. My heritage you know, is like a dancing and going to that you know, parade you know, for like every summer and celebrating our culture. Challenges that black people face is the obvious, which is racism, but also just trying to be accepted for who you are because especially as a woman it is very hard to like express yourself through your hair because everyone wants to have straight hair like long long bundles and for black people and for black women I feel like we don't really have that so we have to embrace each other and embrace it in the media. Some I feel are blind to what it feels like to attack someone because of their race and it's it's a really personal feeling it affects many people in different kind of ways so it's a thing where we have to show respect to you know every race as a future creative i believe i can implement change in society by using art as a byproduct to communicate with the world. Photography, photo montage, and using that as a way for people to engage in, in what I have to say. I would represent black culture in the future by my fashion, my skills, putting out what I've learned from my family into future. I see the world changing in a way that people are able to come together more and become more colorblind and just see each other as different people rather than just people of different colour, people of different races and all this and that rather than we just combine together and become one. I'm proud to be black, I'm proud to have a family and I'm proud to be in college. I am proud to be creative, I am proud to be curious, I'm proud to be black. I'm proud to be ambitious, I'm proud to be creative. I'm proud to be kind. I'm proud to be humble. I'm proud to be unapologetically black, I'm proud to be ambitious, and I'm proud to be a woman. I'm proud to be a black woman, and I'm proud to be a great fashion designer in the future. I am proud to be a creative, and I am proud to be autistic. I'm proud to be creative, I'm proud to be unique, and I'm proud to be mixed race. I'm proud to be a teacher and I'm proud to express my creativity. I am proud to be musically inspired. I'm proud to have grown up in Brixton and I'm proud of the skin colour that I am. I'm proud to be a Jamaican. I'm proud to be a designer. I am proud to be an artist. I'm proud to be an ambitious individual and I'm proud to be a black woman. I am proud to be creative. I am proud to be 
bold. I am proud to be black.